ladies and gentlemen, to the RDFL Netball Show for another week, our third finals edition and our second last edition for season 2016. Starting to very much get to the business end now. There's three teams left in the race for the Western Water A Grade Premiership. And after this weekend, we'll have just two to go. And of course, previewing into what's going to be a huge preliminary final weekend this weekend. Sean Kelly's my name. Joining me, as she always does, Kim Bailey. Big week, Kimmy. How are you feeling? Yes, I've uh, been struck down with the mm -hmm. dream a little bit, so excuse my voice. Um, but yeah, it's been a big week. It's uh, been some, um, some great games. A um, couple of surprises, I must admit, with mm -hmm. margins and things like that. But it's really interesting to... Uh, what happens in finals and who stands up. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to a big uh, prelim final this week at uh, Lansfield Park. Yeah, it should be a huge weekend at Lansfield this weekend. But before we do, though, there's been a few big happenings in the last seven days that we want to talk about, starting last Sunday at McPherson Park and the Melton Rec Reserve. Junior Grand Final Day, a fantastic day from all reports on the netball courts. How did it all pan out? Yeah, it looked... You know, a couple of little hitches here and there, but once those kids get on the court and they have to have a ball, it's, it's just, that's what sport's all about. Mm -hmm. And we'll start off, we'll head to uh, Mountain South where uh, the Beats and teams were playing. Yep. And a really good news story is Romsey's second team who uh, we put them into the Beats and to make up a number. So, and they come away with a victory. So, in the 11th, of course. Yeah, in the 11th, so yep. that was great. Uh, Gisborne had a really good day as well in footy and netball. And they uh, took out the 13s and the 17s. Ah, well done, Gizzy. Uh, and, you know, they had the two... Uh, the Gisborne 17s had the two uh, medal winners as well, mm -hmm. best and fairest in their Jasmine team. Jasmine and Tasma, yeah, I think it was, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, so they're really strong. And Lansfield, their first ever grand final victory as well. Beautiful so work by they the won, They won the 15s. And most probably was a little bit of an upset. We would have thought some of the kangaroos would have most probably yep. snared that one. But well done. Um, and Stacey Demios got back to, for her game, which was good to see. Good, good. Was, so, um, yeah, so that was a really good day there. And I was over at the Turner. Yes. Um, Oh, the little pocket rockets under 11s, the, the Riddle and Rupo game was amazing and mm. such talent. That little team is just a, uh, they're just a, the bomb they are, they're fantastic. The and they bomb had a, diggity. Yep, they had a great day and a great victory, so Riddle took that one out. Uh, Rupo, it was great to see a lot of these girls who played under 11s come up to this um, game, the, uh, the next game. Mm -hmm. um, they played Wood End and they got the victory there as well. In the 13s, so great were, work by Rupo. Yep, so... Um, in the 15th, Sunbury Lions had a, had a really good victory. I think it was, uh, I know this because they're my girls. I was going to say, they had a pretty good coach from what I hear as 20, well. 28 to 8 victory, so I, I was stoked for the girls. Again, Sunbury Lions first ever netball uh, grand final victory, so mm -hmm. well done to the girls. And this was a cracker of the game, the last one, Mountain South and uh, Rupo. Really physical, really highly skilled game. And Mountain South come away with a, a great victory. They've most probably been the form team the whole season. Um, and they really deserve to win. So a great day, great junior day. Fantastic day at the junior grand finals last weekend. Thanks to everybody that came out. Thanks to everybody that participated as well on both sides of the coin throughout the day. A great day it was. Turning to senior ranks now, four talking points this week. Talking point number two, Bowen and Ryan medal night on Wednesday night. Another fantastic night. Over 300 people at the Lakeside Banquet and Convention Centre. <coughs> and we've crowned, as we do every year, a new Ryan medalist in the RDFL's netball competition. Congratulations to Macedon coach and superstar Kiara Stewart, the 2016 Ryan medalist. Such a fantastic thing to see. Yeah, first year in and uh, a great effort. She's really consistent with the voting all year. Mm -hmm. uh, she won it by uh, three votes, so she polled 23 votes yep. for the season. Dual runner-ups and what two people these are, Lauren Close from Riddle on uh, 20 and Amy Carroll from Diggers on 20. So She's always all those polls, polls well, doesn't she? Yeah. And She's a can, former Ryan medalist herself. She is, and you consider that she was out, I think, with an ankle, mm -hmm. ankle or a knee close to, at the start of the season. Amy was also out with a shoulder for them to um, to hit 20 votes. Yep. Um, and Lauren missed quite a few games, so um, that's sensational. But don't take anything away from Kiara. She's been the, sol the soldier for Macedon. Certainly and, has. Um, what a great inclusion for the league she's been and to the Macedon Football Club. Master stroke by Terry Kernan to get her... Um, to into the club and coaching. Well done. Certainly was, and a good night for Kiara as well. Not just named in the team of the year, but also the coach of the team of the year as well, the Western Water team of the year for 2016. Run us through the team. We'll put it up on the screen as well. Yeah, yeah, and um, it was a really definite um, team this year. The, the coaches, 
uh, were really quite succinct with what they wanted and it was quite clear cut mm -hmm. where in the few years it hasn't been. So the shooters were uh, Stacey Northy from Rupo and Amy Carroll from Diggers. Midcourt, Kaylee Armstrong from Riddle, Kiara Stewart from Macedon and Tess Appert from Rupo. Defenders, Katie Clark from Rupo and Lauren Close from uh, Riddle. Riddle. And the interchange, Hope Evans, I think, I don't know how many she's got of these now. Yeah, she'd have just a, three rows of them. From Romsey, Beck Caldwell, who's had an amazing uh, season since with Riddle since uh, crossing over from Macedon, yep. and Chloe Wilson from Macedon as well. So absolutely awesome team. And um, just some of the other, I suppose, awards on that. Obviously, as we said, Coach of the Year was Kiara Stewart from Macedon, our Western Water Player of the Year. Uh, yeah, so that it's an MVP which is yep. voted by the coaches, uh, how many votes they get in for team of the year, and that was Lauren Close from Riddle, so well done, Lizzie. great year. Uh, Kiara was coach of the year, as we said, and rookie of the year was a girl I had a look at on Saturday, um, Carly Harrison from Romsey, what an amazing player. Um, from yeah, Riddle? Yeah, from Riddle. So um, she did a really good job and really deserve it. Just quickly through the other games, yep. Tony Fogarty uh, in B grade, she's been fantastic. She's gone. For some kangaroos yeah. for a lot of years she too. Has. So she's done well, and Gabby Manabu, so from Central has come runner up. What well, okay. So uh, absolute cracker of a chick, Gab. So that, that's fantastic. This one is um, is great. It's mm. a bit of synergy here, isn't it? Jane Close from Riddle, Lauren Close, and Alan Close's mum took out the second grade grand final. Yeah, Lovely. she's an absolute rocket ship too. So well done, Jane. Um, and Carolyn Kuzak from Lansfield, who's been a, a really good player for Lansfield for a long time. She was runner up. Mm -hmm. And the 19s, geez, these two girls have got a big future ahead of them. Oh, haven't they? Uh, Brianna De Haas, I'm really pleased for Brianna. I've known this, um, this girl for a long time. Um, used to steal all my food when we, her mum and I played together at Diggers. So <laughs> she's an absolute cracker. Deanna, uh, and she had a really good game last week as well. So Brianna De Haas uh, from Riddle and Erin Circuit, who's come over from Sunbury Lions to Diggers. she come runner up. So great result, girls. Well done. Great evening. Everyone looked beautiful. They did indeed. Well done to all of our winners on Bowen and Ryan Medal Night for 2016. The footy side of things, obviously, we've spoken about with Yandy in the footy show this week as well. So if you do want to know the footy winners and you're only watching the airport <laughs> show, head over and watch the RDFL footy show and check all of those out. The other two talking points from the weekend, of course, come from our semi-final matches. Riddle taking on Rupert's Wood in the second semi-final on Saturday, and it is the Bombers through to yet another grand final after... You mentioned surprising margins. This one surprised me a little bit. It was a lot more comprehensive than I thought it would be, the win by Riddle. Yeah, I, I thought it'd be a lot closer, actually. I wouldn't have been surprised if Rupo had uh, knocked Riddle off. But, mm. you know, Rupo come out... To, uh, sorry, uh, Riddle really come out to play. It was close in the first quarter. Um, Rupo went into the um, first quarter with a one-goal lead and then just an explosion, 17 goals, uh, second quarter from Riddle, just set it up and they just couldn't peg it back to a, uh, an eight-goal quarter by uh, Rupo. So yep. it, um, the defensive unit for um, uh, for Riddle was fantastic. Uh, the midcourt was just uh, amazing, like Carly Harrison um, and Taryn Munro. Taryn Munro, to me, was, was um, best on court and Carly Harrison, which... Jared has given them to. Yep. They were just amazing. Um, and for Carly to be such a tall wing attack, I, I, I love tall mid quarters. Mm, you you know that, Sean? I, I know do. that very well. And I just sort of thought, oh my God, this girl's amazing. Um, really good battle down the other end with Alicia McCormack and um, Brianna De Haas. I reckon that was just about even, even Stevens. That was a really great contest of two, you know, of our young stars in the mm. competition. Um, that was really interesting to see. Rupo did look. A little flat they did now I don't know if that was just um, the pressure that Riddle su uh, supplied mm -hmm. I think they can play a lot better than that um, of course they can play a lot better than that Stacey Nordy um, I think she sort of succumbed to the close checking of Lauren and um, Danielle Wilson a little bit as well um, it's pretty physical but really well gay uh, well umpired uh, Sarah Febo was a bit down as well. Their Rupo's passes was a little bit off too. They, the pinpoint accuracy that they normally have wasn't there. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? You, you have your bad game, you rebound. So we'll see what happens next week uh, with them. So, But well done to Riddle. Uh, Beck Caldwell shooting at 86%, which was amazing. Alan Close uh, was on as well. She had, and Chris Harris, they both uh, shot pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Rupo didn't get any of them into the 80s, which is what you need. So, but I wouldn't write.
No, day. they live to fight another day, as we'll speak about later on. And in the other game, on Sunday, the first semi-final at Riddles Creek this week. What a ripper of a game yeah. this was in the end. Macedon taking on Romsey. We thought this one might be close, and it delivered in spades. In the end, it was 49-47 to 47 win to Macedon. But boy, those Romsey girls can hold their head high, can't they? Oh, jeez, they've had three weeks of... One, one goal, goal, one goal and two goals. Yeah, so, you know, this is heartbreaking for mm. them most probably. But, you know, to push one of the top teams of the year like they did, it just shows you where they actually sat in the in the um, the pile. So, yep. you know, I think they should be very proud of their efforts. And you look at their best players, Hope Evans, Caitlin Byron and Danny Davidson, three of their superstars. But in saying that, Tana Burner, what a game she had, 34, yep. uh, 35 from 42 and 84%. So really well. Um, Kiara Stewart, again, had a great game. Um but it was um, down, right down to the wire, I think, to mm-hmm. the last quarter. I think they but, um, they just skipped away a tiny little bit in the second quarter and they just, uh, Romsey just seemed to have been able to peg that back. Yep. But Lena Way should be really pleased with these girls. Um, most probably Macedon will benefit from that tough hit out coming up against Rupo. Yep. You know, you don't want to go into a game where you've had an easy an easy run into it. You Correct. want to be you, you want, want to be physical. pushed and you want that pressure. So I'm so looking forward to this week. This is going to be a very interesting week. Just the one game this weekend to focus on and what a game it's going to be. The preliminary final being held at Lansfield Park this weekend. Rupertswood taking on Macedon. These two teams met not all that long ago and there was a one goal result coming out of this game in the favour of Macedon. This is going to be a really good game. Obviously, it's a preliminary final. We expect that it's going to be a good game between two teams, but I can't split them, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a really close game. Um, again, I'm a bit, you know, I like the height. I'm a bit concerned about the height of mm. um, all over the court for Macedon. That's my concern. I don't think Rupo will play the same way they played against um, Romsey. Uh, sorry, against Riddle. Against Riddle, yeah. Um, I know Di sort of beating herself up a little bit, but these things happen. You just got to move on, and it's how you respond. And they, I think Rupert I will respond really well to this game. Um, you know, it depends the pressure that Tara Burnham. She's only excuse my voice. Um, Tara Burnham is going to uh, she, she will attract some really heavy pressure on her being a young girl. Mm-hmm. Um, whether she can stand up, she needs to stand up. The last game uh, when I saw her play, she did. Yep. Um, so we'll see how she goes, but you know you've got the you've got Chloe Wilson who's been fantastic as in a supporting role, and um, if Kiara Stewart can just keep them calm and maintain, um, Alice Jadson and Sarah Davies has been really great too for them. Yeah. So, um, but I actually think that Rupo win this game. I think they're, they're strong enough. They've got enough depth. Beck Anstey driving down the court. That helps, doesn't it? Been, Having back, back last week. Yeah, really yeah, and being that drive right through the centre channel. Um, I th- the only thing I would say to, to Di is maybe to get a more settled lineup. You've got so many players and so many great players and so much depth. And I keep suppose that can be the problem, isn't it? Because you've got so many really good players that you're tempted to throw them around a bit. Yeah. Where in finals, a lot of finals I've seen this year, no changes have been made or very yeah. minimal changes yeah. have been made. And it, she she found that right lineup uh, in the goaling circle, especially when mm. um, when they last played. Macedon, I think, or might have been Riddle Whip. And I think it's Nat Billings and Stacey Northey. They're both tall players. Yep. And um, Nat Billings is really, really agile. Mm. But who knows? You've got to make the adjustments. Like Amy Starza can come on and just shoot, shoot, the, lights know, out. shoot the lights out, yeah. you know, so she can do that. So it'll be really interesting to see where the moves go. Alex Maher is another one who can just come in anywhere. But their defence as well, they've got... Um, they've got Beck, they've got Katie, they've got Tess. Um, yep, well, two team got of the year Kirsten Daly, you defense. know. Kirsten Daly, I think, who might have made the team of the year for VNL as well, if he yep. did one. So there's so much strength and depth there. It's just an amazing team. Sorry, Macedon. I'm going to go for Rupo. We're going to go one of two ways. We're either going to have a repeat of the 2015 Grand Final or we're going to have a history-making day with Rupertswood in their first RDFL Grand Final. They've been to preliminary finals before. They haven't been able to get over this hurdle as yet. Both of us are tipping that Rupert's Wood, it's going to be their time to get through a preliminary final, get in to the biggest day in the RDFL. And if that happens, it will also be another very, very historical day because Rupert's Wood will be in all four grand finals. If that happens, they're through in BC and 19s after second semi-final wins on the weekend. And looking to join them this weekend in the under 19s, it's Riddle taking on Macedon in the C grade. It's Riddle versus the Melton Centrals. In the B grade, it's Riddle taking on Macedon. We could have four Riddle versus Rupert's Wood guys. 
possibility. Huge possibility. Huge we could possibility. have we could have three Macedon versus not Ru- good for our game, but that's not okay. great for the game. <laughs> no, but all the same teams in there. But imagine having two teams, or you know, two, two or three teams. What the amphitheatre of Romsey will oh, be like on Grand Final Day? The amphitheatre of Romsey is something that I cannot wait to be a part of again because yeah, you're coming, aren't you? I am. Grand I'll be again. there, and it will be. Fantastic! It always is. Yeah, just the crowd sits is. on top of the players with the grandstands and everything. It's just an just the awesome noise and atmosphere. everything. Yeah, really looking forward to it. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. No. We we'll get it this week over and done with, and then we'll have a, uh, a really comprehensive look at the, the grand finals. We will indeed. We might have something special in store for you next week as well on the grand final edition of the RDFL Netball Show. Kimmy, thanks for this week. Thank looking you. Looking forward to getting through this weekend, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, hopefully my voice comes back a bit better this week, so we'll be right to go. And thank you for joining us once again on the RDFL Netball Show for another week. We'll see you next week for Grand Final Week.